Best Google Camera Mod for the Xiaomi Poco F1 running MIUI 10.2.3.0 stable. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you the best Google Camera Mod for the Xiaomi Poco F1 running MIUI. 10.2.3.0 stable based on Android 9.0 Pi. What are the things which we need? You need three APKs and a file which has custom settings for the Xiaomi Poco F1 recommended by the developer Sanity. So the three APKs which we need are Playground APK if you want Google AR stickers on your Xiaomi Poco F1. Then you need the Google AR Core APK and you need the Google Pixel 3 camera mod. This camera mod is based on Sanity's camera mod. It has dark mode in settings and the manual sliders for ISO and exposure have been removed from the viewfinder. As for the file which we need for that, we will go into FX File Explorer, then SD card. And this is the file which you need, pocof1.xml. Again, it is linked in the description of this video. Once you've downloaded all these files, transfer them to your phone. The first thing which we need to do is we'll go into settings, scroll down, look for installed apps and you need to make sure that you have removed any existing Google Pixel 3 camera mod which you have installed on your Xiaomi Poco F1. Once you have uninstalled that, we need to install the three APKs. The first APK which we need to install is the Gcam APK. Select this guy and then click on install. Once Google Pixel 3 camera APK has installed successfully, click on the back button. And the next file which we need to install is the AR core. If you do not want Google AR stickers or playground on your Xiaomi Poco F1, then you can skip installing AR core and the playground APK which we're going to install next. So we will install the playground all pack. Once playground APK has installed successfully, click on the home button and we will have a new camera app in our app drawer. Press and hold this guy and drag it to the desktop just makes my life easier now we will click on this icon wait for the camera application to open click on allow four times asking for some permissions and bam there you have it google pixel 3 camera mod in the building with no lag at all the first thing we're going to do is we will import the custom setting which we had downloaded so for that if you tap on this guy you will get a message you do not have any configs so first thing you need to do is click on more go into settings Scroll down all the way and click on this guy. Save custom settings to gcam slash configs. Click on this guy, enter config name. We're saving our default one, so we'll name it as default. And then click on save. Once we have saved it, we'll click on the home button. Go into FX File Explorer, go to your SD card. And there you will find a folder called gcam. Inside that you will have configs and we have our default.xml file which we just saved. Click on the back button two times, select the POCO F1.xml file, click on copy. Now we will go back to Gcam, configs, and here click on clipboard and then paste. And bam, POCO F1.xml file just got pasted in this location. Click on the home button, open your camera application one more time, double tap on the black area, and now you will get an option to choose the config. Right now it is set to default. We'll click on POCO F1, click on restore. Camera application will restart. And now our custom settings for the Xiaomi POCO F1 have been implemented. Next thing we need to do is we'll go into more. We'll go into settings. While we are in the photo section, scroll down, click on advanced, scroll down. And for portrait mode, enable this guy. Save to DCIM slash camera. What this will do is because when you take pictures using the Google Pixel 3 camera mod, a portrait picture results in a folder. This will avoid that or stop that from happening. Click on the back button, back button one more time. We are in the main menu. Go all the way to the left. The first option we have is lens blur. Let me take a picture of my friend Mr. Walter White over here. It is telling me to raise the phone a little bit. I raise it wait for the image to process click on the image which we just took processing lens blur and now if we click on this flower icon over here we can adjust the lens blur and there as you can see 
lens blur is working absolutely fine. Next option we have is panorama. For that I will have to go outside and take a few pictures but panorama mode is working absolutely fine. Next you have portrait mode. I did take a few pictures using portrait mode on the Xiaomi Poco F1 and it is working absolutely fine on the rear camera and on the front camera as well. However, the front camera is limited to 5 megapixels and that is because that is how Google Pixel 3 camera APK is. It is a limitation from the Google Pixel 3 camera APK and the next thing you might notice is that your selfies will be mirrored. So that is again a limitation of the Google Pixel 3 camera APK. You do have a paid app on the Google Play Store which I will link in the description of this video if you want to flip your selfies and make the orientation correct. Let me now take a portrait shot of my friend Mr. Walter White one more time. And let's see if we have two pictures over here or not. Alright, so it does say burst two photos which means it did take a portrait shot. Do note that this is the Google Pixel 3 camera APK and it takes portrait pictures only when it detects a face or some something live something like that if it detects an object there are chances that it will not take a portrait shot we however will now go ahead and try to edit this picture open the app drawer look for photos here is the portrait shot which we just took click on the edit button on the bottom click on this guy one more time and let's try to change the light so there it is you can change the light working absolutely fine let's try changing the color changing the color is also working absolutely fine let's try changing the depth so there it is changing the depth is also working absolutely fine and you can also change the focus click on mr walter white focus on walter white click on my polar bear friend over here and focus shifted to my polar bear friend so all those things are working before we go further, let's go into installed apps and check the version of Google Photos app which we are using. So the version of Photos app which I have is 4.1.1.026 and a pretty big number but this is the version of Google Photos I have. Back into the camera app, the next option is normal photographs and of course you can enable your HDR plus on or if you want HDR plus enhanced that is also working absolutely fine as is night sight because as you can see right now it is telling me to try night sight because the camera sensor detects that there is not enough light so click on this guy it will move over to night sight as you can see by the moon icon over here and let's try taking a picture it will of course tell me to hold the phone steady hold still and bam night sight working like a boss Next up we have video options. So you can select right now, I think it is set to 4K 30 FPS. Let's go into more, go into settings, scroll down, look for video. So the bitrate is set to 60 Mbps. And if we click on advanced, you can see the back camera is set to 4K 30 FPS. So 4K 30 FPS recording is working absolutely fine. Let's change it to HD 1080p. Go back, back one more time, click on video. And now you have the option of recording in 30 fps or in 60 fps those two options are also working absolutely fine however if you need 4k 60 fps then you will have to use the xiaomi default camera let's click on more the next option which we have is called photosphere let me click on this guy and try taking another picture of mr walter white tap here bring the phone in the circle and now i can drag it around and click on the check mark button over here we can now check out the photosphere picture which i just took so this is the photosphere picture which i just took of course i did not do a good job it is what it is but photosphere is working absolutely fine going back into more the next option is slow motion so you have the capability of recording in 1 by 8x and 1 by 4x right now it is set to 1 by 8x and it crashed click the camera app one more time Go into more, go into slow motion, and it is now set to 1x4x. Let's try recording a video in 1x4x first. Let me bring in my fidget spinner. This guy set to 1x4x. Let's keep it over here. Give it a little spin. 1x4x in the building, and there it is. 1x4x video is being recorded absolutely fine. Let's stop this guy, stop this guy as well. 
and now to change it to 1 by 8x you have to tap on it it changed to 1 by 8x the trick here is to click on the back button once go into more go back into slow motion and now it is set to 1 by 8x now if you try recording a video it will record in 1 by 8x so let's try it one more time 1 by 8x click on this guy and there it is 1 by 8x slow motion video is being recorded stop it stop this guy as well click on the home button open the gallery application and there it is this is the 1 by 4x video which we recorded and this here is the 1 by 8x video which we recorded let's go back to the camera application click on more the next option you have is playground so you have your google ar stickers in the building you do have the option of selfie mode so i did take a selfie and it is working absolutely fine same goes for the rear camera let's click on this guy and if you want to install or play with the childish gambino guy you can do that i will click on play emoji and look for my star war friends here it is it's bring bb8 into the picture click on this guy you can take a picture of bb8 press and hold and we are now recording a video with my friend bb8 leave it and video recording will stop let's now click on the home button go into the gallery application click on the back button there it is picture of bb8 and here is the video which we just recorded working absolutely fine click on the home button camera application more the next option we have is google lens we'll click on this guy and this guy will read whatever is in the viewfinder let me bring in my altec lansing wireless bluetooth speaker here's the speaker let me place it and let's see if we can find anything in the viewfinder tap on this guy and there it is as you can see it detected that it is the altec lansing the jacket h2o rugged bluetooth speaker so google lens is also working absolutely fine so there it is peeps as you can see we have all the features of google pixel 3 camera mod working like a champ on a xiaomi poco f1 i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you